Er jeg hældende eller hvad? Ja. Okay. Uh. Hvor er jeg? Okay, der er til mit. Der er nede for enden og til One of the problems that was apparent from our run last year was our lack of synergy between mid and jungle. From my personal perspective, I feel like the mid position is one of the most important roles in the game. Finding the right mix to create a very strong mid-jungle synergy was of paramount importance. So in the off-season, we did an early boot camp in Europe at our facilities in the Netherlands, where we brought in Kane and we had Jensen and Broxa work on developing that synergy before we would start the full boot camp with the team. It's really unfortunate that Broxa is not here, obviously, but that was the that was the plan. Jensen, you show up this game's first day in a Givenchy jacket. Okay, guys. Team meeting. Team meeting. Hello, hello, guys. Hello. 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 So. Did, did you want me to turn my cam on? Yes. Yeah, Let's see your face, cam, bro. Stuff. Let's see what happens if I do this. <laughs> there we go. Oh. oh. <laughs> there we go. Big face. Magic. Fanatic chair. Fanatic chair. This entire visa situation has been very tricky, I guess, and, and pretty difficult for me to deal with. Basically, we've we've hit a few bumps in the road regarding my visa, which is really depressing. Honestly, I'm not gonna lie. I was really, really excited. I still am really excited to, to go to LA and experience everything there is to experience um, with Team Liquid and in the country and just, you know, getting the full experience really playing in, in the LCS, meeting my new teammates, everyone on Team Liquid and for a lot of different reasons I've really been looking forward to go and now for the time being, at the, le at the very least, I've been denied that opportunity. I just hope it all uh, works out soon. Like we had a long break, right? Like it was a long break. I think, I thought it's too long. Recently, the team started screaming again. I've been in touch with, with the coaches and we've come to the conclusion that the best way for me to help for the time being is to watch scrims 
participating in some meetings and I guess in a bit of an analyst or, or coaching role for the for the time being. Been helping out Pope Elder a lot, watching the game from a jungle perspective and, and trying to give him as much feedback as possible, really just having a, some discussions back and forth. We were expecting Pope Elder to, to be the one going on stage. That has changed. Um, so I need to discuss with the coaches again, okay, now in this new situation, what, what is my role going to be with a guy that has been jungling for many years coming in? Maybe my role will still be jungle focused. Um, maybe it's going to be more general. Still need to, to discuss that with the coaches, but trying our best to, to make me as useful as possible while I'm at home. Oh, I'm so sad. Like, it's so sad, you know, because I feel like for every day I'm at home, you know, I'm actually I'm actually missing out on cool experiences. And it's really depressing. And now, you know, I'm missing out on a lot of cool experiences and practice, but also stage games and, yeah, tough life. I would love to tell you exactly what time I will be arriving in LA, but <laughs> I don't want to jinx anything. I've gotten a lot of false hope so many times about this visa i am i'm a bit uh, a bit nervous about when i will be arriving i'm not gonna lie i just hope that everything is under control and that i will soon arrive join the team win the league go to msi and then life is good again I guess the, the cardboard will have to, to do do the job for the time being and then uh, hopefully I can take over eventually. Alright, I'm good to go. Yeah. Uh, I'm Shantai, also known as Shantfile, currently playing for Team Liquid in 2020. I haven't had a lot of time to take it in. I'm, I'm just going to say that. I've just been on the run the whole time, so... I definitely need some time to like decompress and just realize yeah, I'm here right now. I've always wanted to play with Peter. I think he's just a cut above the rest. And I just always want to play with the best players. And Core JJ, he's taught me a lot. Just his actions. There are lessons in themselves. He's not just a support. He changes the game. He impacts the game like any other role. Is a trendsetter. <laughs> this is what I've always wanted to play with, like these players. When I got here, it was really intense as well. Everything was happening so fast. I got off the plane, I got picked up, I dropped off my luggage, and I went straight to scrim. Even when I think about it now, I can feel that energy. It was just so intense, like playing with all these sick players and seeing all the bright lights, the the facility and whatnot. From there on, I think I just started to fit in more and more and get more like accustomed and feel like I deserve to be here. Did you bring a defensive mouse in your mouse Yeah. Uh, did you bring your skip? Hmm? Did you bring your skip? Maybe. Did you bring your mentor? I need to respect the enemy. No. No. Yes. Respect yourself. Respect myself, yeah.
Wie? Wow, you're so prepared, man. Yeah, everything. I have everything. Good morning. Compared to other players, I think I've been through a lot. This experiences I've had to go through. Ever since I was 17, I left home and league was my life. And then when league was ripped away from me, I think I had a really hard time because I realized that league was owning me. I like was controlling my whole life. I had to reconnect to other parts of myself outside of league. And I think that really kept me more like grounded now. I'm not just Shern Fire, like I'm Shern, but ever since I was 17, I always was in just the Shern Fire. That was it and nothing else. And yeah, I had, I had to go through some tough experiences um, this whole last year. And the fact that I haven't given up, I think that means something. I did a lot of visualizing. I knew it was going to be a lot of pressure on me, the first game at LCS. I do think Surefire is going to be better, for sure, but I still think it's a very new roster with this jungler that, like, you know, he came in when they needed him and he's, like, doing work, but it hasn't been that much practice. I'm here with Dodo. Dodo, a couple obstacles and bumps in the road for Liquid with missing Broxa, but I want to ask about your decision to use Shurnfire today and why you're using him over Pobelter. Shurnfire did come around you know, four days ago and he stepped right into scrims and he was pretty, playing really well. He really impressed us and we decided to use him and we're pretty confident. And we are ready for a rematch between last year's two best teams in Team Liquid and Cloud9. Here we're going to have double activation. It is Dragon spawning Rindra Oh, out. the fight's already going to be starting off. The burst coming through, and that's first blood over to Team Liquid. Shurnfire coming in with the counterattack. Vulcan's now going to be isolated, alone, and beat down. More damage coming through from Impact. One more swing of the base might be able to do it, but Nisky grabs the kill onto Jensen. It is a two for one in the favor of TL. And we're not done yet. Blabber coming up now, going to be knocked up into the air. There's your slam dunk. Meanwhile, bottom side, Licorice is ready to take Impact down. One more stab will do it, and Licorice gets the solo kill. Cloud9 looking to make some moves. Jensen finds himself caught out, and Niski finds himself 300 gold richer. Cloud9 dropped their second Rift Herald of the game, this time in top lane, looking to grab another tier one turret before that Drake spawn. Infernal Drake is started now by the side of Team Liquid, and Cloud9 will just strong arm Team Liquid away. Labber looking to make the kick happen. Shurnfire is now going to be stuck in the cage, and he is taken down. Mid jungle synergy showing up. TL knows they can't just allow this to be taken. They got to make something sort of happen here. Baron taking down Team Liquid on the retreat. Cloud9 find themselves in a turret dive. Flabber's grabbing the kill onto Shurnfire. Jensen explodes under Vince pressure. And C9 takes a clean ace. I think our bot match was just like not playable. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 I also think uh -huh. if you guys can't do anything bottom and you just being present all the time, then I think Core should just come mid. Because we had zero vision the entire game. Because we can't do anything around mid. Right now our macro just is really shit. Like I'd say like our main a main thing is like let's say like the enemy team was like doing two turrets two turrets top, right? Mm -hmm. We didn't even get bottom. Like I think if like we were had a we were we a should have gotten team, bottom. We should have gotten bottom. Yeah. We should have like I don't understand like how we didn't get one turret for two 
and then the next time when they come in, like, we have to just fucking engage when they fight for vision. Like, it's just, it, to me, it's, like, so basic. I, I just get, I feel like the main thing is, like, we hesitate too much on, like, map plays. I think we're so used to bottom just shitting on the other lane in scrims, like, yeah, like, we're not used like to we're just playing clueless from when bottom. lane was getting pushed in. We didn't know what to do. We couldn't control the, the pace of the game. We just weren't used to like losing that bad bottom side. And by losing bad, like the game's gotten to such a high level. It's like just getting pushed in is losing bad, you know? During scrims, it was really easy to play my role when like bottom's always winning and mid and top 50-50. <laughs> Ultimately, I think that we didn't clearly understand like the meta properly and what we need to pick and what we need to give. I think I've just, I played solo with all the players and I, I didn't think like they were that great compared to my teammates. I believe that they got a good start from Korea. I think they learned like how to play the game better than us. And I think we need to catch up. They might be the sprinters, but you know, I think we're the marathon runners. Wait, what is Tack doing? He's stacking something. Jenkins! Jenkins! The warden lane! Come on, Jenkins. Oh, no. Let's go, Liquid. Okay. Wait, look, Frank. Let's go, Liquid. There you go. Let's go, Liquid. I have baggage, so I have to go back. Okay, okay. Well, now there's a crowd. Now, now there's more pressure on me. Oh my god. Oh my god. Nah, they're full Nah, they're fully dressed up. Perfect. Yeah, we'll see what happens today. Gotta learn passing. Uh, you want Rice to go to Storks or what? Storks are issues? No. Yeah, but he's just bad at Storks. So the black didn't even have a bank. Oh, he lost. Yo, oh, okay. Did you just look at him? Did you? Really? So close to gone. Oh. Bruh! Oh. 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 This guy has actually been stealing. What is this? This is mid lane in him, gone in him. Leave it out, all of the ribs today. Leave it out the ribs. Which one is mine? I don't know. That's one that's chorus. This is chorus. Oh. I thought you just had random mouse pads. Everyone here? How many do you need? One. 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 What's up, bro? Feeling warm in there? Feeling warm? I'm good. I feel very warm. Oh, shit. I have a key. Bring it in. Bring it in. Okay, back to the action. Back to the action. Monday night. Okay, let's just not get nervous. Like, yeah, let's just play our game, right? Mm. Our team. Oh, team team game. 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 Team Team game. 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 Team First game LCS, like I built it up to such a big thing. But the second game, I felt super normal before. But when I got on stage, I was like, oh, sh this shit's getting too real. I think because I knew it was going to be a lot of pressure on me. I think I just realized a part of myself as well, like how much I've looked up to TSM and what they've done just growing up watching them. So I think you just have to let it be. I respect these guys, but I'm here to crush them. And now it's Dardox turn down here on the bottom side. Here they go. There it is. Double if going to be the one who gets jumped on Kambe, putting down some damage. Double is going to be ignited. Seeing if they can bring Dardox in here to finish it off. The CC is down and Double Lift is gone. Dardox right back down here, but a TP is going to be coming in. It's going to be a bloodbath. Kambe is going to be taking low. Double Lift as well. Double Lift is gone. And TSM, two kills. Double Lift, two deaths.
Just come, just gonna poke if he comes in. Yeah. MF is. What is what? How about one? Yeah, yeah. No place, no place, no place. Jillian can build. And MF's coming. Nice, nice, nice. DSM with control over the Drake for now. Gangplank ultimate gonna be used, zoning everybody away. Biofrost gonna be zoning too. Tilly, Tilly, Tilly. I can't, Alice. I'm dead, I'm dead, I'm dead. Alice, 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 Alice. Alice, 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 this is Armageddon for these two teams, and Biofrost is not long for the world. He is gone. Impact, just a sliver of HP remaining. Impact's got the CC. Team Liquid's got the fight. Broken Blade with a nice flash away, but Devilus goes on a killing spree. He'll get Bjergsen. Jensen grabs Dardock, and with four dead on TSM, that has got to be the fight that wins TL this game. Let's fucking go. And the, the game. game. Sense. Holy shit, Jensen. Good job, bro. Uh, I think I'm maybe not looking tough better than one. Well. Yeah, not looking tough. Yeah. Yeah. We wouldn't use this resource. Good job, boys. Thank you very much. I am in fact here with Schoenfire and Jensen. Quite the game. And Schoen, you told me right before we went on that that was actually more intense than your first day on the LCS. What made this game so different for you? Uh, I think just uh, versing players that I've always respected um, just made it way more like surreal for me. I had to like keep myself in check a lot. Jensen, I know you went off to Europe to play with Broxa and then Schoen comes along and you have a very limited amount of time to integrate a new jungler. What was that process like for you? I mean, it was fine. Like, working with Sharon has been fine. He's already played competitive before, so I think... I mean, he, he's a good player, so it worked out well. I think the key to being a really skilled player, I think the stages, you know? I haven't really reached impact or course where they've already won a world championship. I think everyone's going through different stages of their life and I am as well. And I hope I keep moving forward. I think I, I haven't proven myself yet to be a starting jungler for Team Liquid. So that's still what I want to do. When I showcase my best, I think I'm the best.